Today we're out here on the flight line doing familiarization training for air vac medics and for military working dogs so that they can prepare for eventual medevac cases that they may encounter uh, while on deployment. Part of this training is to allow the military working dog to become familiar with the sights and sounds of being on a helicopter and then become acclimated to it so that uh, they can understand that it's uh, not something they need to be afraid of uh, with their handler there, that they can accommodate that situation and, and um, be adapted to it. It's more beneficial, so if we get a patient, like a military working dog is a patient, then we have more experience working with the dog, so doing the traumas, doing the medical stuff. The more practice we can get working with the dogs and with you guys on the ground, the better it's going to be for the future. In certain situations, you want to know what your dog's going to, how he's going to react. If there ever is a situation where we have to medevac our dogs, if he's not comfortable with a helicopter or even the medevac team, uh, you need to know that so you can prepare for that. If we can make all this muscle memory just by doing this training all the time, then it just makes it easier in a stressful situation like that. What I enjoyed most about today was just actually being out there and getting to work with other units. It's always exciting to kind of hear their, their experiences and kind of share ours as well. I mean, a lot of people are amazed with our military working dogs and it's fun to share that experience. We have a great degree of interoperability between these uh, Air Force working dog handlers Army veterinarians and Army flight medics and that we can work seamlessly together uh, and provide a full continuity of care for these military working dogs.